this is my 357 I was using shooting the 38 specials out of cleaned it up just did a quick job on it just ran hot soapy water through it toothbrush cleaned it up to get most of it off the action's working nice and smooth again I needed to screen my powders to get more uniformed sizes. This is about one F, at least what I'm calling my one F. This is I don't know, whatever bigger be bigger than one F, and this is bigger than one F. These need more processing, but I'm separating them so I don't get any more dust than I have to. I just took these red cups, drilled holes in them. So This in here is at 3.30 seconds. Right there you can see my 3.30 seconds jar there. So if I know if it falls through this cup, it's not, or if it falls through the cup, it's smaller than 3.30 seconds. And the next cup down is 5 64ths. All right, there's 5 64ths. And when it falls through this cup, I know it's smaller than 5 64ths. So I will dump it in whatever gets stuck in this cup. I will dump in this jar because I know it's in between 3.30 seconds and 5.64 and that's how I do my sizing you can see I still have some in there Oops. as I shake it you can see how some of them will fall through This is my 764th jar right there. So this stuff that's falling out, I'd put, end up putting in this jar, which these both get processed more because I don't want anything bigger than this. I have 2F black powder. And when I put it through my cups, It all falls through into my dust bin. A very small portion stayed in a 564th cup. So that is why I'm calling this my 1F. And then I had to find a smaller drill bit and one sixteenth because if 2F goes through a one sixteenth hole that's the smallest drill bit I have at my house I have to go find my other ones are finer uh, what else oh show you some of my Oh wait, they're not loaded. Where are the loaded ones? Hmm, I wasn't planning on recording. Oh, they're in my car. I can't show you my loaded ones. I took some of my cases when I was testing my powder before I put a lead round in there. 
had it primed and everything ready to go. Filled it with my powder. I punched out these little round discs for wads that I pushed down inside my case. And then I have a hot glue gun here. Sealed them off with hot glue. And then went and shot them. Be like shooting blanks. But with a hot glue bullet. You don't want to point it at nobody. Because you are shooting something out of the barrel. Blanks are dangerous. They still shoot stuff out the barrel. This is my messy little shop. That I mess around in. Making my bullets. Yeah, I don't really have no plan when I make my videos. I just make them. Whatever comes off the top of my head. Well, thanks for watching. Didn't get to show you what I wanted to because I don't plan nothing. I didn't have what I wanted down here. So I'll have to make another one. That shows you the ammunition I was putting together. But I did want to show you the cups. I'm going to get screens. But you have to get micro fine screens. Which you can't find anywhere. So I have some on order. I'm just waiting to get them. This is what I'm doing temporarily in, in between. But I can show you. Come on. Don't want to spill any of this. It's eighty dollars a pound. That's why I started making my own. See that's the two F. At least what this company says two F is. Spill nothing. I don't know if you can see that good. That's not too bad. You can see how mine are much bigger. So, this is what I'm going for 2F, but 1F will work just fine for me for what I'm shooting out of it. I'm, I'm just doing it for my Winchester 1873 3840, which is, I think I have some of them laying here. Yeah, there's an empty one. And here's one that I have loaded. And that's what I have loaded in with this here powder. But it's $80 a pound. I like to shoot this rifle. I'm not gonna shoot it very often, but it's gonna cost me eighty dollars every time I need a pound of powder, and I can't even find it anymore. I bought the last two containers that this business had, and as far as I know, they haven't gotten any in since, and that was over six months ago. So yeah, I decided to start making my own. That's factory in, the, in this bowl. This is my stuff. 
that stuff is shiny because it's probably graphite. I'm not worried about graphite in my powder. It's just a process I don't need to do. It don't need to be shiny and pretty and rounded off. My stuff will work just fine. But I'm sorting it out because when I wasn't sorting it, I expected it to be different. And I load my cases up. I had all different sizes in there. So when you when I go to fire it, you have different burn rates for each little piece in there. And I could tell the difference which ones had the finer stuff in there because I was trying to sift it out, trying to get the but every once in a while I get a case and it's like, oh, there was a big chunk fell in there. Ah, screw it. Let's do it anyway. Well, those ones that had the big chunks in there, I could tell the difference. Definitely made a different sound when it went off. So, interesting. It's not like I wasn't doing anything that I was worried about blowing the gun up on. I, I knew weight-wise how much powder I was using. And my stuff is weaker than factory stuff at the moment. And yes, I'm weighing it out. Anybody there that knows about black powder, I was weighing out my powder by weight, not by volume. I don't have a volume volume meter to measure it by volume. I will eventually. So I'm loading the stuff for the books I have. If it says you need 30 grains of 2F, 30 grains and 2F in that book is not 30 grains on that scale. It's completely different. One's by volume, one I'm doing by weight. So I need to get a meter to measure by volume because then I'm going to check that by weight so I have an idea weight to volume what I should be charging my cartridge with. Well, I see my video went over just over 12 minutes. Going on to 13, longest video yet. So, hope you enjoyed it. Rambled a little. Had no plan. Thank you. Have a good day.